into a new video. So I decided in this video to play with the nail sugar chromes. I was going to do something with each of these three different chromes. I've got a lilac, a rose pink, I think it's, I can't remember what the name is, rose gold, and the silver. Um, and I was only going to do three nails. However, this nail took a complete U-turn. So it's, it, yeah, I'm only going to use the lilac. You're going to need an eyeshadow applicator to apply the chrome. You're going to need some gel polish obviously because that's what color you need uh, the colors that you need and then you're going to need some no wipe top coat um so for the right the chromes show up better on black especially the silver i've decided they look better on silver um so i've got there on that on those first two nails i've done two coats of perfect white on these next two nails, I'm going to do two coats of perfect black. Each coat needs a 30 second cure in an LED lamp. To apply the chrome, you the, the best way to apply chrome is on a no wipe top coat. Now, you might want to just try the top coats before you do these on clients because some top coats, the chromes work on really well and other top coats, they don't work very well on at all and i make sure that the top coat is completely smooth because the chrome is not forgiving at all um i cure it for 25 seconds i leave it out five i take it out five seconds before the like the full curing time and then i will scrub on or burnish on the chrome with the eyeshadow applicator if you take your gel if you take the tip out like too soon, if you undercure the, the top coat before you apply, the chrome will look grainy. Um, the same goes if you apply it to a tacky layer of gel polish. It, it won't look smooth like this. It will end up looking grainy. And then when you wipe off your excess chrome, if there's any chrome that you want to wipe off, do it with a soft brush, not a hard brush. Otherwise, you'll end up with scratches on your chrome. Um, this, I was just showing you there, this is some no wipe top coat that i've got on a on my palette what i'm gonna do is i'm going to write on you could do this with any design you could you could draw on flowers or stars or hearts or um other words i'm just gonna write on the word love i know this isn't really a Hall uh, halloween what this isn't really a valentine set however because valentine's is coming um, I, I thought I'd put the word love, but you could, initially I was going to put the word winter, um, but it was a bit long, so I thought, right, we'll just stick with the word love. I do actually put a little heart at the very end of the word as well. So once I've done that, I do go back to the L because you have to be careful with this because the top coat will want to slightly spread out a little bit. It's not like... Because this, because the surface is shiny, it's gonna spread out a little bit. So, yeah, do bear that in mind. So now I've got that, I will put the heart on, but I don't show you me doing the heart. I'm gonna cure it, and then I'm gonna grab the chrome again, and I'm gonna go over the letters with the chrome. And now when I come to top coat this, you're gonna see it's it's gonna be like an it's like embossed basically. Uh, yeah. There we go, brush off the excess pigment and then I'm going to go back over with my no wipe top coat and you're going to see that letter, that word underneath. And can you see the heart there at the bottom now? I thought I'd just stick that on the end because I thought it needed something. There we go. How cool is that? Oh, I love it. So that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds and then um, we can move on to our next nail. I think that's really cool. I love it. I saw this ages ago, this kind of, um, this kind of, I don't know what you call it, technique, I'm not sure, on Instagram, and it was the, it was on one of the magpie ambassadors thingy, oh, I'm doing another now, uh, no wipe top coat, chrome, and then brush off the excess, and then on this one, this is why I've called it cozy chromes because I'm going to do a sweater nail on this one, which is really weird because you, I would never have thought of doing a sweater nail with the chrome. Um, however, we are still in winter and um, 
yeah this is where you, you'll see on this one the gel the top coat spreads out a lot on the top on the top um the top of the design like when, when, by the time i get to the bottom the top spread out it's it's moving on the nail so i've kind of had to i had to go back to the top and kind of go over it again um, and also I do do some lines down the sides and I'm out of shot here, but I am, I've cured that top coat and then I'm going over it again with my chrome, um, with the chrome, I'm saying chrome a lot. There we go. And then again, you just top coat it and you're left with that design underneath the, um, and yeah, oh, it's great. I love it. There we go. So that's our chrome sweater nail, which is a bit unusual, but there we go. Then I've got um, Earth Sign and Astrological Goddess, I think it was called. These are two of the new gel polishes from their latest collection, which I can't think for the... Oh, House of Glam, I think it's called. Um, I'm using Perfect White as well on my palette. And then on the nail, you need some... Madame Glam do have their own blooming gel, but I don't actually have any. So I'm going to use this one from Urban Graffiti. You don't cure that. You pop that on the nail. Don't cure it. I'm going to use Madame Glam's ombre brush. I'm just going to run a dotting tool through these colours. And then using my ombre brush, I'm going to pick up the gel polish. And I'm just going to kind of randomly swoosh it onto the nail. Now, because we're doing this on blooming gel it's going to give the marble a, ch a chance to kind of bloom obviously <laughs> what what uh, so yeah just put it on anyhow any just yeah you kind of just want to float it over though don't don't press it on float it over and and yeah and i'm just going to leave that for about 20 seconds and then i take a wipe and i just gently press it up against the side don't go mad and push it push it like all the way over half the nail because when you when you carefully pull away the wipe you're going to pull away half the design you literally just want to kind of pull off some of the excess because if you have too much gel polish on your nail you don't want the you want the gel polish to be able to cure properly in the lamp otherwise you'll end up with wrinkling if the light can't penetrate through the gel then it's going to wrinkle and then you're going to end up with problems so i just do that also by pulling off some of that excess gel polish it kind of helps the marble to spread a bit more as well i'm just wiping off the tacky layer here with some isopropyl alcohol and what i decided to do was i'm going to put some no wipe top coat on the nail i'm going to follow kind of follow the the lines of the marble i just do it in three different places and then I'm going to chrome them. But I didn't want the chrome. I only wanted the chrome to attach to the top coat. However, if I was to do this again, I would have matte top coat at first. Then gone over the areas with the no wipe top coat that I wanted to chrome. Cured it, chromed. And then gone over the top of it again with, I think I would have done it that way. Do you know what I mean? Am I explaining? Because I did still get a little bit of the chrome stuck. I had to kind of try and wipe some of the chrome away from around the area that I wanted it. Um, but I'm never, I'm not really very good with chromes yet. So I'm, it's still, it's still a learning process for me as well. I'm going over here with the matte top coat now because I wanted this marble matte. Yes. I did, because you know me and Matt. <laughs> That's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And if you want to, you can leave the whole nail matte like that. But I, I'm going to grab this again, and I'm going to take some of that top coat on my palette. The no wipe, the shiny top, you can't see because it's not focused. But I'm just going to go over where I've chromed, just the chromey bits. And then I'm going to pop that in the lamp and cure it. And I quite like that, because now it matches the other two nails the chromey bits and then for the last nail i decided that um because this is cozy chromes all nice and cozy i thought i'd grab a cute little gonk i'm gonna cut away the excess from the decal i've turned the decal upside down and popped it on a stamper and i'm just dampening dampening the back of the decal is that is that right dampening and then the backing is just going to slide off after a few seconds. Doesn't take long at all. 
and I'm going to stamp that, that it's going to slide away. I just dab off the excess water. Now because I'm using a white background, I don't need to go over the back with white gel polish. If I was using a, say this, the base colour was black, I would have gone over the decal on the stamper with a little bit of white gel polish and then cured it. But because, I, I, I don't know if I'm making sense here, but I'm running out of time. Um, so I've gone over that with velvet matte top coat. Then around the edges, I'm going over with some no wipe top coat. And that no wipe top coat, I'm going to chrome. We're going to go all the way around the edge, chrome it. Then I'm going to dust off the excess chrome. And then I'm going to go back around the edge just to seal the chrome in that we've just put on the nail. I know, it's totally confusing. <laughs> and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp again for 30 seconds. And then using the isopropyl alcohol, I'm just going to wipe off any excess chrome. I did make a boo-boo on the right-hand side there. I've got a little bit of chrome poking out, but it's not the end of the world. I don't care. <laughs> but I'm going to wipe as much excess off as I can. And then that would be that nail done. So we've, I've only done four because you all know my client only has four fingers and no thumb. Then I'm taking this white texture gel. They sent me this between Christmas and New Year, I think. And I was like, oh, that's amazing. And I'm going to use this to give the gonk's beard some texture. It, it's kind of like a gritty gel, um, but it cures without a tacky layer. And it's really cool. I love it. I've got to think of some other things to do with it. But I'm just going over the gonk's beard. And it just makes the beard look like it's got some, yeah, like texture to it, I suppose. <laughs> um, I'm going to throw it in for 60 seconds. I'm not actually sure how long it takes, but 60 seconds in a lamp. And then I'm using the white gel paint just to add on some like little dollops that look like snow. And I'm going to add on some stars because, as I said before, we are still in winter. So I thought we'll try and make it a bit more wintry. On two of the big dollops, I'm going to I'm going to make those stars. So we're just going to do the flicks to make the little stars. You don't have to add extra gel paint to your brush before you do this. You can just literally use what's in the dollop. And that will have 60 seconds in a lamp. And then that's done. I'll show you a close-up. You can get 30% off Madam Glam using my code NatMug30. 10% off Nail Sugar using my code NatMug10. All the links and discount codes will be below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It is completely free. Love you all. God bless and I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye.